And another group touching millions of lives one heart at a time, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Since 1954, that organization has helped students grow in both their sport and their faith. Like the story of one student who has now become a multi-athlete high school student and a Southland Conference champion. KRBC's Febin Cassoon has more. Uniting two passions, faith and athletics. We see the value that it adds to people's lives and the ripples effect of that. So I think it's the best thing for a, for a student to plug into. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes helps students impact the world with Jesus Christ. If they're already following Christ, it, it lets kids know they're not alone on their faith journey. For a lot of students, it's the first step, like Southland Conference champion Peyton Ricks. I was just starting to get into my faith. Um, I wasn't saved yet, but I was um, starting to read the Bible and stuff and just wanted to know more. After one meeting, became involved, was saved, and is now a group leader among his peers. It, it just really resonated with me. And learning to glorify God in his sport. When I get tired, it's no longer, oh, I'm tired, I'm not going to work anymore. It's more of, okay, uh, Christ was beaten and um, barely breathing on the way to the cross, and he still got there, he still... Um, endured and he did that for us, so why would I not do the same for him? I think it's awesome to incorporate uh, Jesus into a public school setting. <laughs> FCA leader and multi-athlete at Cooper High School, Ellie McMillan, decided to take her faith to another level. Being a part of FCA has helped shape how I react to certain things, such as losing. Um, losing is terrible and no one likes it, but um, learning how to react and to walk out with your head held high and maintaining integrity and in, um, how you represent uh, yourself, your school, and um, your family. In Abilene, Febb and Cassahoon, KRBC, Abilene's local news.